Haven't ever done a session at this time of day, but I wanted to try. So I had the idea to have a training session at a time I had never had one before leading up to this and it was around five o'clock at night and I thought maybe she would do better because she had only had vegetables all day and hadn't had a chance to have pellets so her motivation level would be higher and she might be more likely to push through barriers. But then nothing happened and I thought she was nervous about my slippers. I thought maybe she could do short flights or maybe she'd want to do long flights and it turned out it was pretty much none of the above and I thought okay I'm never going to have a training session at this time of day again but then something interesting happened. Just as I was about to give up on her I literally go to turn off the camera then I changed my mind and I'm like I'll try a short flight at least and she took it. And once she did that flight, then her motivation was up, her um, excitement level was up for a training session, and I was able to push her further than I had ever done before, and it was so exciting. Check it out. I don't know how much you guys can tell from the video. I'll be able to tell in editing. But um, as she gets closer to me, she starts flying lower, which tells me she's getting tired and she doesn't quite have the muscle or stamina built up. But that's okay, because that's gonna change. Yay! So excited. Come on. So good, and she didn't fly as low that time, so she's figuring out the whole strength thing. Okay, I'm gonna end the session there, even though I wanna go forever. And we're gonna put her with dinner into bed. An interesting thing to note here is Morgan starts off by avoiding flying over Dave. She actually goes around him, and then eventually she slowly gets closer and closer to him until finally she starts making the flights over him, which was really exciting. Good girl. <laughs> She's touching Dave's hat. Come here. As you can see, I'm still having some issues getting her to go back down sometimes, so targeting is what I use. Um, luring doesn't even work. Targeting does, though. It's been my 100% go-to. I just want to point out how receptive to praise Morgan is. I can usually coax her and talk her into something just through encouragement alone. Hey guys, so I've gone from one training session a day to two, graduated to two sessions. I do one in the morning and then one in the evening. So pretty cool. Other birds are pretty jealous right now. So we're gonna see if she'll do some flights. Um, nobody's home, so that's awesome because earlier Dave was home and was kind of throwing stuff off a little bit even though we still progressed. So see where, where we go. Yeah, so next step, I'm gonna see if I can fly her from this tea stand. I really hope I can, but we'll start here for now. Whoa, you a little tired? Good. Don't know wants to stay here. I have a feeling. Oh, you got Morgan out? Oh, what's that? Hey, wait, 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 wait. 
for me. Thanks, kiddo. Come on. Good job. That did kind of scare you. Scared you? Yeah. Mondo's distractions right now, and she still did it. Rocco's a baby. Wow. So many distractions. So many distractions. They're gone. Good girl. Good. Good. I kind of want to see if she'll do the perch flights, because I think she wants to do short flights. What if you could walk on it by yourself? Uh-huh. Maybe I will target you on it. Have this game you might like. Would you like to play? I think I don't feel very good. No? No. My forehead. I don't know why she's nervous about this. Perch. She's gone on it before. Her foot is butted up against it. I'll try to let you guys see. Do you know what I want already? Go ahead, do what you think I want. So here I kind of switched from targeting her to just capturing because she offered to go on the perch all by herself. So since she seemed like she was going to climb on it because she thought that was what I wanted or maybe Ooh, as a chance to try to get closer to the stick, I just decided to capture her natural behavior. And as you can see, it worked beautifully because yeah. she put herself on the perch and all I had to do was click and reward. And now I'm going to try to get you to do a flight. Can you turn around and touch the stick? Well, but I want your whole body to turn around. Come on, Dan. Can you turn around? I'll let you figure it out. Can you hit the tree? Can you turn around? You got to figure out how to turn around on there. Think about if this is a tree. Good girl. Can you do a short flight? So once Morgan was actually on the perch, it was kind of not faced in the ideal direction for her to take flight. So I realized this based on how hesitant she was to even do a flight. So then I realized I really had to move that perch <laughs> to be more ideal. So then another trick came into training. I move the perch, you stay on and you get a treat, okay? Good. You stayed calm. Ready? Good. She's not scared of anything. <laughs> She's starting to get braver. She is. And starting to do good. Really yeah, that didn't bug her. Cool. Well, we got her on the perch. Now, if we can get her from the perch. So while you guys watch me struggle to convince Morgan that it's in her best interest to take this flight from a perch, which she's never ever done before and it's really awkward for her foot, um, I wanna take a moment and explain something. A lot of people say they don't want a trick trained bird or they don't want their bird to do tricks. But what you guys need to realize is that everything you ask your bird to do that's in your best interest is a trick to your bird. So asking it to step up, that's a trick. Asking it to step up without biting is a trick. Asking it to step down is a trick. Asking it to flight train is a trick. Asking it to be okay 
okay with something is desensitization and is also a trick. So every interaction is literally a training session, whether you like it or not. If you learn to apply this every interaction is a training session mentality to the relationship that you have with your bird, you're going to have a completely different perspective on all of your interactions with your bird and how you can bond better while creating a more confident bird. You can do it. Come on, Morgan. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, Morgan. Come on. Come on, Morgan. Come on. Good girl. She's fine, she didn't hit anything, so we're gonna wait. We're gonna let her figure out how to get back to me. You all right? Good girl. You wanna try to come? She's pretty winded, that was a long flight for her. Where is she? Hard one, she's over here. You wanna try to come? I just try to teach them early on that they gotta find their way back to me. I'm not gonna go get them unless they're in immediate danger or hurt. Which she wasn't. Let's take a breather. You got scared, but you flew. So she actually flew into my kitchen and turned and got back out, but then got going so fast. And then she turned again and just slid in on the carpet. But really good controlled flight actually. Um, she landed safely and everything. She just landed on the ground because she doesn't have a lot of strength. So, we're getting there. So, I don't know. She's not really looking like she wants to fly at all. Even a short one after her episode. So, thinking about just giving her dinner and calling it a night. Yeah. Let her go back to what do you think? This might be a little loud. Can we do one more? Can we do one more flight? I don't think so. I don't think we're gonna get a flight out of her. So, let's play targeting. And I'm going to target her off of this perch. Good job for being cool with that whole thing. Actually, it seems like she kind of wants to stay on there. But let's come off. Okay. Well, that's good. Do you want to go back on? Good. Well, at 
least we established that the tea stand is good. And then she can fly off of it. So it's been an awesome day. And we ended good because we ended on targeting. And this handy dandy perch. So I'm gonna go give her dinner. Your foot? Okay. Gotcha. Good. Me... Love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. That's a wrap.